Okay, this is Dice Half-Life, it's classic uh, classroom, sort of practical, kind of practical. Uh, all you need is a hundred, roughly a hundred dice. I tend to always do it with a hundred. Uh, each student is given sort of four or five dice, depending on the size of your class. And uh, essentially, you pretend that the dice are radioactive atoms and they have a one in six, six chance of decaying. Make the point to the students that you don't, you can't predict which ones are going to roll, are going to decay first, uh, just like in a radioactive sample. So you tell them that if they roll a six, that means it's decayed radioactively. No way that you can judge this, you can manipulate it. So in turn, all the students roll the dice, and if they get a six, then they hold up in the air and you collect it in. Count how many sixes there are. Uh, so for instance, you start at 100 if on the first roll 20 of the dice in the classroom were sixes, you collect those 20, it means you've got 80 left. Do it again, roll again, you get a certain number left. And by nature of it, you will always end up with uh, the, obviously the number of dice going down, and you end up with a graph that looks something like that. So your number of uh, rolls up along the bottom, total dice up the side, and you end up with a sort of half-life shape curve, and students can find the half-life of the dice. And then this idea that you can't predict which ones are, are going when, but you can predict the half-life, kind of comes through. Also, a nice point to make is perhaps don't go all the way to the end. So when there's three, four students left up with, with dice still, you can say to them, well, how long will it be till all of them have gone? And obviously you can't predict that. You could be rolling dice for the next two weeks and, and it's not, one of them doesn't roll a six. So, or it could be on the next roll. So you just don't know. And that's the idea with radioactive materials. We, we can't predict how long it is till the entire material is decayed, but we can predict half-life.